don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cops 360 here, and Microsoft have announced the removal of frame rate caps on all Universal Windows platform games. And to make that easier for you guys, those are pretty much games which you can buy from the Windows Store and they run on you know, the Universal Windows platform on the UWP. Now, of course, games which are affected include Forza Motorsport 6 Apex, which is currently in beta on the PC. I will deliver some gameplay of that soon. And it also includes uh, Gears of War 6, the Ultimate Edition. Now, at the moment, Microsoft has removed the cap, but it's still up to developers to implement this feature, uh, if that makes sense to you guys. So, we're going to be seeing the actual effects of this change in updates, game updates, if you already have those two games that like I said before. Now, continuing on, Microsoft have also said that they are um, introducing support for G-Sync and FreeSync, which is very, very good. I mean, it's a shame it wasn't there from the start, but it's good to see that Microsoft is improving. Now, look guys, back in the day, Microsoft, uh, there's a little something called Games for Windows Live, GFWL, and Microsoft was like, oh, we care about PC gaming. We care, we care, we want to commit, we want to commit. And then they came out with GFWL and it was garbage. No one liked it. Uplay is better than Games for Windows Live. It was honestly the worst service ever created by Microsoft. It just had no support. I don't even think Microsoft knew what they were doing when they launched it. But since then, they've killed it. I believe they killed it like two or three years ago or something like that. And there's just no support for it anymore. However, ever since Microsoft launched the Xbox One, they announced DirectX 12. They launched Windows 10. They've been pushing one platform, one UWP, one universal Windows platform. And they want to commit to having apps working across the entire ecosystem on Windows 10 on desktop, Windows 10 on tablet, Windows 10 on phone, Windows 10 on the Xbox One. So you have that cross collaboration, that um, good interconnecting of services, systems and games and apps and programs and whatnot. And it is really, really good. And I believe that this time where Microsoft says they care about PC gaming, they're actually committing to it this time. I believe they're being legitimate. I mean, look, they're actually trying to improve what they've already got with the Windows Store. Now, of course, exclusive full screen mode is still not a thing yet. And that's kind of an issue with the whole Universal Windows platform thing, the whole um, Universal Windows apps. I mean, you, running an exclusive full screen seems to be uh, quite a difficulty for Microsoft to come over or to overcome. But I believe soon... Um, we will be getting uh, exclusive full screen mode. I mean, I don't even play games in exclusive full screen, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, I'm not really sure why you should or why you can. I mean, I just like to alt tab um, out quicker. I believe I heard somewhere that you could run above 60 FPS or something. Um, not above 60 FPS, but actually, I don't know. Can someone please explain to me? I, I can probably easily just look that myself, but um, yeah, I just don't run an exclusive full screen regardless. So I like to alt tab out quickly, but look, that's kind of away from the point. Um, I believe this time that legit Microsoft is being serious. They actually care. Now I might be jumping the gun here because they've let us down in the past, but with DirectX 12 coming legit support for DirectX 12, um, they, they've been talking about, uh, cross collaboration between the Xbox One and the PC cross platform gameplay. They said it's going to happen. They're more than happy for it to happen. They even want to let that happen with the PS4. I mean, honestly think that this time, um, it's going to be good that we're going to be seeing, um, uh, Microsoft, a Microsoft PC gaming service, uh, be useful, be good. I mean, Forza Motorsport 6 Apex, uh, even just the beta, I was playing a bit of a last night at like 2 in the morning, or this morning, 2 in the morning, and it was like good, I mean you had, um, it's kind of like playing Xbox on your PC, like you got the achievements, you've got your gamer score, everything's still linked up, it works all kind of nice, and it's even better for me, because I've owned, or I have an Xbox One, I own an Xbox 360, I owned an original Xbox, I've got everything I need for this to be brilliant already for me, so... Right now, the experience is pretty good as itself. The game, DirectX 12, I'm not sure if it's using DX12 right now. I'd assume it would be. But Forza Motorsport 6 Apex Beta runs very well on my R9 290. Extremely smooth. I'm going to try to do some benchmarks for it. The thing is, Fraps doesn't work on DirectX 12 yet. And neither does DX Tori. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. But I'll get something done and I will get that to you guys. So pretty much... 
That was all I wanted to say today. Do you guys think that the UWP is going to be a hit or miss? Because Microsoft has the chance to really, really deliver, sorry, something great to us. If they can get some great collaboration with the Xbox One, they can get some good games out on the PC. I mean, Halo Wars 2 is coming to the PC. All Forza Motorsport games in the future will become the PC. Um, if they can get this real, this wheel, sorry, really spinning, really rolling, they can get something good going on, then man, get hyped, guys. Like, get pumped. Because I'm an optimistic kind of guy. You guys will not often see me damping down on something, pu um, punching something in the ground, putting it down. I'm an optimistic type of guy. I'm a happy kind of person. I want to see good things for the future. So if Microsoft can deliver us something good, then man... Why shouldn't we be happy? So look guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I really feel like this is a good, smooth commentary from me. But yeah, I will see you guys later. And well, another day guys, another day.